In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the types of virtual machines and the implementation in operating system. Thus, the type of various uh, virtual machines and implementations, many variations as well as hardware details. So here assumes the virtual machines takes advantages of hardware features. So the hardware features can simplify the implementations and improve the performance of a computer system. So whatever the types, the virtual machines has some life cycle. So that one is the created by the virtual machines. So that's in resource assigned to it for the number of cores and the amount of the memory networking details and storage details so in the type 0 hypervisor and resources usually dedicated and other types dedicated or shared resources are a mix when no longer needed where well, the virtual machine can be deleted freeing resources the steps simpler faster than with a physical machines installed so can lead to virtual machines spiral with lots of virtual machines history and state difficult to track in the type 0 hypervisor virtual machine type so it's an old idea under a many names by the hardware manufacturers so here the io challenge as difficult to have enough devices controller to dedicate to each guest sometimes a virtual machines implements a control partitions running demands that other guests communicate with for shared io can provide visualizations within the visualizations so here the guest itself can be a virtual machines with the guest the type 0 hierarchical structures is many guest 1 and guest 2 guest 3 guest 4 each are user cpu separately for their process so in this next type is in type 1 hypervisor so commonly found in company data centers so here in the sense becoming data center operating systems so here the data center managers controls and manage os in a new sophisticated ways to controlling the type 1 hypervisor so here the consolidations of multiple os's and the apps onto less hardware so moves guest between the systems to balance the performance snapshots and cloning so here can run on a type 0 hypervisors but not other the type 1 so run in a kernel mode so it's also provide the other traditional OS services like a cpu and the memory management so in this type 1 another variation is a general purpose os that are also provide the virtual machines functionality so it is in uh, performance normally uh, duties as well as the virtual mission duties but it is in typically less feature rich than the dedicated type 1 hypervisor then in many ways it treat guest os as just another process so in this type 2 less interesting from on os perspective so here very little os involvement in the visualizations so in this time isn't simply another process but run and managed by the host so here that tends to have poor overall performance because cannot take the advantage of some hardware features but also a benefits because they require no changes to host os so it also supports the para virtualizations so here it does not fit the definitions of a virtualization the virtual machine is not presenting an exact duplications of the underlying hardware so here the exact leader in the para virtualization space adds several techniques 
for example clean and simple device abstractions so it is a efficient io and good communications and each device has a circular buffer shared by a guest and viva a shared memory so in this exams io viva shared circular buffer the structures it has the request queue and outstanding descriptors response queue and unused descriptors so they can provide the services by the os request so it is an examples for the shared circular buffer so in this para virtualization is also has some extended features that is its lead and add uh, several techniques so its memory management does not include nested page tables but each guest has own read only table so has to uses a hyper call so when a page table change thing is needed or essential so in this para virtualization solo virtualization of older the cpus without binary translations the guest has to modify it to use run on a para virtualized virtual machines but on modern cpus the exams are no larger required guest modifications that is no large parallelizations so it is also not really a virtualizations but using some techniques so in this the programming languages is designed to run within custom build virtualization same where met the examples is a java virtual machines so in this case virtualization is defined providing the api okay the applications program interface is an essential for set of features made available to a languages and the program written in that language to provide improved the execution environment so in this jvm there's a java virtual machines compiled to run on many systems so in this program returns in the java run in the jvm no matter the underlying system so it is similar to the interpreter language also so in this emulations another way to running one operating systems on a different operating systems that is in process of the emulation so in this emulation allows guest to run on a different cpu so it is necessary to translate all guest instructions from the guest cpu to native cpu so the emulations not a virtualization and the company replacing outdated service with new server containing different cpu architectures but still want to run old applications so it has the performance challenges and the new machine is faster than the older machines and it is a very popular and its applications is also uh, isn't large so it's a goals of virtualizations Uh, is a segregated of the applications performance and the resource management so easy to start and stop so everything so it is in zones for the examples of create the virtual layer between the os and the applications so it is a only one kernel running the host os so is a examples for the the solarized 10 thank you